hope you're well. I feel like I've not sat down to film for a long time and I've actually still got a holiday lookbook to edit but I've been doing a bit of sale shopping and I might spend £400 in Zara so I've got this massive box here so I'm going to be filming a couple of sales hauls first just so I can get them out so they're relevant because all the sales are online and in store at the moment so I wouldn't want everything to be out of stock when you watch this video. I'm filming a Zara haul first and I'm also going to film a sale haul with everything else that I bought in the sales on the high street. So that'll be my next video. I'll try and get that up for Wednesday if I can edit it. So look at you, two videos in one week after not having one for a while. Filming setup is slightly different and you can see the ring light in the reflection there but I'm actually starting filming about half six. I've just come in from work so I don't want it to get too dark in here, but I'm going to try on the items and talk to you as I'm trying them on. I thought that would probably be the quickest and easiest way rather than sitting here showing you all the items and then doing cutaways. So that's what we're going to do and I'm actually wearing the first piece so we might as well get into it. The first piece is this blue dress with a floral print on and then we've got some frilly details and what I loved about this dress was the cutout detail we've got here. I'm not bottoming it up all the way at the back because I need someone to help me but there is a little cut out at the back there as well and I just thought this would be really cute for summer, it would look really good with my van trainers, nice jacket over the top, dress down, dress up in the evening and also I suppose when it gets cooler you could layer a top underneath, maybe a roll neck or something because I really like the colour blue and I don't think it's too floral for me anyway. So that's the first dress. Next up is a red suit and I just fell in love with this jacket. I love tailoring so when I saw this originally at full price I thought oh I wouldn't mind like a bright suit for an occasion wear piece to mix it up from a dress and I ordered both the bottoms and this in a medium. I think pretty much everything I ordered is a medium and I'm normally a size 10 and this literally fits like a glove. I'm so obsessed with this colour. I think I will definitely keep this jacket. I'm not too short on the trousers because, I don't know, they feel really comfortable but I don't know if they're very flattering around the crotch area and whether, I don't know, I feel like it's a bit too right for me personally but I think this will look killer with a pair of heels and then a really slinky cami top. But I've, for now, just put on a top that is also from Zara and I will just show you some close-ups of this. I think this was a really good price. It was about 12 pound 12.99 and it's just a nice double layer little cami top and then we've got some detailing on the sleeves around here as well not the sleeves on the straps and I just thought it was really nice it looks really expensive again dressed down dressed up just really nice top really next up is like another two-piece set but this time it's a pink number the trousers, I will just say off the bat, I'm not keen on these. They are massive in this area and they actually feel like a really itchy material, so they're a no-no. But I'm loving this long pink jacket. I think these type of jackets are so versatile because they're a great layering piece and you can just wear them casual or you can wear them really nice on an evening out with a short dress underneath. And if you're conscious of anything on your legs, like I've got quite a few leg veins, a longer thing like this just covers that up where you can still wear a nice shorter detail dress underneath. So I think I would definitely be keeping this. And also I think it would go really nicely with the first dress that I had on, the blue one with the pink accents in and it matches my nail varnish. That one today. So this is it, just a little bit closer up. We've got button detailing here. It doesn't actually fasten, but it doesn't really need to. And it's got some pockets here as well. Absolutely love this. And I'll just show you what I've got on underneath. This is a cami top. I didn't actually realize when I bought it that it was gold flex on it. I thought it was like a normal polka dot, but I actually really like it. And it's just got an asymmetric frill across the front. Your normal cami strap top and I actually picked this up in a size smaller because I've got quite a small chest so I tend to size down in tops anyway so I got this in a small and it fits me size 10, 36, 34A bust perfectly. Now we're moving on to trousers. I've ordered about five pairs so I just thought I'd do a close up on them. I've ordered medium again and I don't know if I'm in between sizes at Zara but to me I don't know. I don't like that baggy crotch. I feel like I'd have to wear a long top with it but I do really like the colour of these navy trousers and they do feel really comfy on so they'd be great for work casual wear just I'm looking for some loose nice trousers to wear to the office but 
the crotch on these puts me off. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Next is a pinstripe skirt and I just really like the shape of this online and the fact that it's got this tie piece at the front here so you can tie it up how you want or you could you know, wrap it around at the back. I think it's really flattering but the only thing I've got a slight problem with and it probably is just my body shape rather than the skirt. I feel like it comes in and then bumps out here on my kind of, not saddlebags, but you know, the bit around your bum area around here. It's a bit loose, whether it would look better with spanks on, but I don't know, it feels so comfy. This would be great for work, but I'll have to have a think about it. So let me know in the comments below if you like this skirt. Next is a pair of huge, massive flares. I just kind of got the flamenco dancer emoji vibes from these on the website. But again, unfortunately, I feel like everything is pinching in this area. And again, they're a bit unflattering on here. So I'm starting to think it's my body shape. But I would love these pants if they felt more comfortable. I feel like I'm a bit restricted around this area here, yet they're still, I feel, a little bit big. So I must be in between sizes, but I mean, how epic are the bottom of these pants? I really wish that they fit me. Then for the final pair of trousers, there are some navy flared bottom pants and I feel like I've got a smaller than these and not a medium, so these are the complete opposite problem. They feel too tight around here, so maybe I kind of went a bit too crazy when I was on holiday, but I'm thinking if you're ordering trousers from Zara, order two sizes if you're unsure because I wish I'd got smaller sizes in the other ones and bigger ones in these, so I think I might have to do some more reordering. So that's everything that I had to try on that I bought from Zara. And I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed that none of the trousers fit me properly because that's the whole reason why I went on in the sale in the first place and the skirt as well. Because like I said before, I'm looking for longer styles, so midi skirts, looser trousers, things that I can wear to work that aren't really tight on my legs because I'm really struggling with my leg veins at the moment. Um, if anybody's interested actually and anybody else has spider and thread veins and they're really conscious of them, I'm hopefully going to be getting mine treated soon and if I do I'll make sure that I cover it on my social channels here on my YouTube and on my blog as well so hopefully that'll be informative to some of you who also feel like me. I feel really self-conscious at the moment. I want to keep my legs covered which is why I'm trying to find new styles because I don't really have much like that in my wardrobe. But I had a win with the first dress that I showed you. I'm loving that red blazer. I'm also loving the pink sleeveless one and this top and the other cami top. So I'll definitely be keeping those. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below on all the items and any of the items in particular I'm a bit unsure about. And also let me know what you've picked up in the Zara sale. And I will leave links to everything that is still available whilst editing this video which will be tonight or Saturday. Um, and otherwise I will just leave a link to the Laura sale as well. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this whole try and set up video and you don't mind the lighting issue. I'm now gonna go and film exactly the same with everything else I've bought from other online stores in the sale. So like I said before, hopefully I'll get that video edited up for you on Wednesday or Thursday. So don't forget to check back for that as well. If you're new here, I would love if you did subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.